Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Jack Graham, Realtor with Simply Vegas, and today I'm showing you the southwest of the Las Vegas Valley. By showing you, I mean I'm gonna be driving through pretty much most of the major streets, showing you all the new construction homes that they have available in this part of town. Giving you a little bit of my opinion of the area, what I think about where this area is headed and what kind of future uh, you know we were seeing for this uh, for this neighborhood and uh, just giving you pretty much a tour so the goal is to try to give you as much in-person information as possible because if you're looking to move out here to this part of town you definitely want to know all of that information for those of you who are new to the channel my name is Jack Graham I'm a realtor with Simply Vegas and I help people transition or move here to Las Vegas Valley so if you guys are interested in my services keep me in consideration as your realtor as much as I would love to just give you the as much as I love giving you free value in these videos and showing you everything you need to see and showing you all the new construction homes I would love to even more love to pretty much represent you as a realtor so all my information is down below now let's get back to the video where am I located? Right now, I am right off of Durango and the 215 freeway. There's a lot of commercial areas right now going up in this part of town. A little bit of traffic. Uh, it is 9 a.m. on a Wednesday morning. You know, people still going to work, you know, trying to commute from place to place. And you can see this is like a new place right here. This is what they call, uh, it's, it's a commercial area right across the new casino which is the Durango Casino. Uh, and uh, this Durango Casino is brand new. This is what people have been talking about for quite a while. And uh, it gives you an idea of so, like, where we're located. This is uh, this casino went up within the last year or so. We also have Ikea right across past the freeway. You can see it right there. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you now on the map where I am, first of all, compared to the strip. Now that we're stopped at the red light. So, this, you see where this uh, orange and red line is? There's a little bit of traffic. That's the 15 freeway right next to the strip, okay? This is the whole Las Vegas Valley. So, we are right now over here. This is the 215 freeway. So, for comparison right here, this is not comparison, just for information purposes, this is a 215 freeway. You see this street circling around, making a C-shape all around town? That's where we are. That's the exit going onto this 215 freeway, okay? And usually when you have these major exits here, which is the Durango exit, which means this street is called Durango, okay? And then this is the 215 freeway. What you have is a lot of commercial areas around it, a lot of growth because of that. You see all on this side is what we just saw right now. And then across the street, that's the Durango Casino that they just built. In fact, the pictures on the map don't even show, you know, the, the real picture of what it looks like right now, which is all finished. You can see still the construction going on, the desert land around it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down on Durango here. Go all the way down, we're gonna make our way out to this part of town okay where there are a few builders building here then we're gonna make our way up on blue diamond or we might go through mountains edge over here make our way on blue diamond make a left on rainbow and go north again and then from rainbow we'll take maybe the 215 and go on to decatur decatur and go south and show you all of these neighborhoods down here where there's a lot of new builders and then finish it off in southern highlands which i did take a full video tour of southern highlands itself so this i'm going to try to cover as much as possible as much area as possible and try to go through all the streets as i can right now we're headed south on durango as you can see there's a lot of commercial here restaurants uh on the right side you can see uh, cvs there's a Vons, Wells Fargo, I mean anything, Walgreens, everything you need, you have it right here. Also, and this is right off of Durango, if you go onto the main and next major street, which is Rainbow, 
which is only like two minutes down the street, you have a huge plus as well. There's another Smiths. If uh, if you are, uh, you know, if you're new to Las Vegas, you probably don't know about Smiths. And if you're coming from another part of town, but Smiths is our grocery store. It's more like a upper end grocery store. You know, when you go to Walmart, usually you have the the less uh, you know desirable you know grocery store over there than Walmart it's uh, cheaper but uh, Smith's has a little bit higher quality products uh, usually but you're gonna see a lot of Smith's here in the Las Vegas Valley as we're headed down you can see also one thing you're gonna notice about the Southwest is because it's not a master plan community itself Southwest a lot of areas are gonna have a lot of construction going on you're gonna see desert just bare land just like this piece right here and you'll see a lot of politics and commercial you know just promotion um, banners and things like that to you know you're gonna see this throughout the whole southwest and as you can see here there's a lot of land to build on so a lot of people say oh we're gonna run out of land we're gonna run out of land but I really don't believe so and you're gonna notice this also in the other throughout the whole uh, video it's in my opinion it's gonna take like 20 years to run out of land obviously it depends on how much Las Vegas is gonna keep exploding as a city however although we're growing fast at this rate if we keep going growing at this rate I would say it's gonna take at least 20 years to pretty much fill out the whole uh, you know city look at this we have more land over here to the right and you know, I mean, it's getting expensive. This land is going for about a million an acre for the builders. So pretty tough, you know. There's a Southwest Gas Corporation. So a lot of commercial providing work for the local people. People think that Las Vegas is, oh, there's a Summit Homes, by the way. This is gonna be, um, it's a small building. It's a local small builder, Summit Homes. They build, you know, small neighborhoods of 30, 40 homes. So more of an entry style uh, neighbor you know, builder. They're probably looking around 450 price range on that one. And you can see still commercial because we are in Durango. The thing that you're going to notice about Las Vegas also is that when you when you drive through these main streets you're gonna see mostly commercial but then you're like where are the neighborhoods at and those are more in the inner side in the inner streets the smaller streets so that they keep the commercial area or the big streets away you know the traffic away from the from the homes this is pretty much the end of the neighborhoods over to the right you can see still lots of land we have also the beautiful uh, mountains because here in Las Vegas Valley, we're surrounded by mountains all around. And you're gonna get views if you go on the outskirts of the city. So right now we're headed south. <clears throat> we're actually gonna go to that community right there, which is Century Community Southwind. That's one of the best deals out here in town. Here's a little wash and then right here, more, more land, which they're already prepping to build more homes on here. So I'm not sure when this is gonna happen and I'm not sure who this uh, builder is. And uh, here's another plaza right here, right off of the two major intersections. I'm gonna show you where I'm at on the map right now. But we're right off of Durango and Blue Diamond. And Blue Diamond kinda has like a, it goes diagonal here. It goes out to Perump on this side, but it goes up and connects with the 15 freeway. So it's a pretty major street. You're looking at two, three, four lanes per side. So you're looking at up to eight lanes on this road. So almost like a freeway, I would, I would argue. And as you can see, still more land to the right to build on. I mean, if, if really the city just released all this land for sale, the prices of homes would just crash because all the builders would come in. Well, not necessarily because then builders, if they don't make a profit, they won't build. But this is one thing about the Las Vegas Valley that you have to understand as a buyer out here. The supply is really controlled by the city and how much land they release. So if the city decides to put in new regulations where it's really difficult to build, kind of like what California does, even though we have land to build in, just like California, it's gonna to be tough to 
purchase a home out here because the supply is going to be you know cut down so that's where i can see you know prices really skyrocketing and getting to a place like uh, california seattle more of a inflated market but as of right now although we are getting a lot more expensive than we used to be the average sales price on a house is around four hundred and sixty thousand dollars at the time of this video it is still a place where technically it's more affordable than a lot of major cities and las vegas is a big city it still keeps growing like crazy um and it's a very how do you say uh, very opportunistic city i would i would argue now we are right off of fort apache which is another major street that eventually connects up with the 215 where we started down there and uh this one also this this road blue diamond not only brings you to Pahrump, which is a nearby city that i don't know not many people want to be in it's a little farther out it's over where is it there it is you see Pahrump. it takes about 40 minutes or so to get there but some people like it being away from everything you know they like to be in a small town away from everything lower price of homes as well uh, but you know this one also connects you to the Red Rock Canyon you can see this loop right here so you can go if you live in this part of town in this corner you can go over to the Red Rock Canyon and uh, within like 15 20 minutes you can connect there this is more of an outskirts neighborhood if you're looking at this neighborhood as a potential option for yourself what you have to understand is you know to get to the strip major places it's gonna run it's gonna take you about 25 minutes from here just because you know traffic things like that whenever there is rush time Blue Diamond does go fast but you you can see a little bit of traffic um, happening in here uh, on the street lots of home as you can see left and right the major builders are probably Richmond American homes well the first one is definitely Pulte and KB but then you have Richmond you have uh, Century as well other builds like DR Horton is huge, Lennar as well. There are not as much though, but a lot of homes uh, being built here. Now, one thing you're gonna notice also, construction is one of the things you're gonna have all the time here in the Vegas Valley. It's just part of the city. <laughs> you have to understand it's gonna be one of your things, your daily, uh, your daily things that you're gonna see when you go to work you're gonna have construction because we're always building we're always expanding the city in order to do that in the infrastructure needs to change so right now we just got here to Arborbrook and Stonehaven Arborbrook and Stonehaven are a Richmond American builder uh, it's a Richmond American homes community and you can see they don't have any gated community it's just open right here but being on this part of town it's more of the lifestyle that you're gonna get uh, these are the homes right here they already sold out these homes on this side and then these are actually the model homes of what they have available this is the Lim Limwood floor plan with a master bedroom downstairs then you have the second one, which is the pine floor plan. This is a really nice one. We're talking about 2,000 square feet, the first one. The second one, 2,400 square feet. Then we have the bigger collection, which is the Coronado floor plan, about 2,800 square feet on this one. And then the Seth floor plan, 3,000 square feet. And this is the only one with the three-car garage as well. So if you're looking for something a little bit bigger, this could be the option for you. Now in the back over there, Stonehaven, they're gonna build a single story option and some other uh, floor plans, but they're still not available yet. Okay. Uh, what price ranges are we looking at? On the smaller homes, 2,000, 2,300 square feet, you're looking at at least 550, probably going up to about, uh, you know, 600 right now with the current pricing interest rates have been trending down so the lower interest rates are the bill that the builders are offering around five five and a half percent are fueling the market and getting you know the place more expensive uh, but then we have here another builder well that's on the lower end the bigger collection the 3,000 square feet homes those are usually running around what is it 
they're usually running around uh, 700 on the low end and going up to 800, 820. Now down here, I think this is still Richmond American Homes. This is just another parcel that they're building. And yeah, these are the bigger homes that they have available. So the last two models that we saw. Right now, there's not much vegetation in the front. It doesn't really look as green, although we are in Las Vegas, so we shouldn't expect that to be the case. But eventually, once you, you know, the neighborhood has been around for like 10 years or so, all the trees are gonna start growing out like these ones, as you can see. It'll give you a little bit more green. And then this is the other community by Century. This one, uh, the floor plants go anywhere between 2,000 square feet up to 2,600 square feet. They're just two-story homes, pretty much a competition to those homes that we just saw. And they're building all down here. Again, no gated community, nothing. It is, uh, these are really nice homes, ranging anywhere between 600 to, I would say, 600 on this one, going up to, on that one, around 650. No, uh, 550 for, for, uh, on this one, going up to 650 on the other one. Really good value proposition by Century. Now, we're gonna head back out. Actually, we're gonna make our way into some neighborhoods. So you get to see a little bit what it looks like. This part of town. You should expect homes like these. This is actually KB. These are the 1849 floor plan, the single stories. There's a 3066. These have been built for probably about in the last three, four years. And probably that, that's how old they are because KB used to be here. Now they built out all the neighborhoods that they had. So they do have more new construction homes, but not in this part of town. And we're gonna head out to show you on the map where we are. We are south of Blue Diamond here in the Southwest. You can see the south we consider the southwest by the way i didn't mention this we consider anything left of the 15 freeway and anything south of the 215 so this is what we consider the southwest so i'm going to go through a little bit of the mountain's edge here to show you this master plan community and talk about it and then from there i'm going to get back onto the the blue diamond and go on rainbow because rainbow has a lot of commercial areas over here to show you now still more land to build on. What do I think about this part of town? Well, having lived here for, I would say the past eight years in the Southwest, I have a pretty good insight on what this neighborhood looks like, feels like, and all of that. So, what do I think? I think it's a great, oh shoot, I'm stuck. Gonna have to go back. Didn't know this was closed again. Part of the daily routine here in the Las Vegas Valley, you just have to accept it for the way it is, and you know, make it part of your life. You're gonna have construction work on all the, all the streets. At least until they build out the area, it's probably gonna take another 20 years. But what do I think? Well, I think this is a great part of town where it's pretty central to the city. If you're looking for a new construction, for sure, and you wanna be closer to the main part of town, which is the Strip, airports, this is probably your best bet. As far as neighborhood, if I were to rate it from a uh, rating from zero to 10, I would argue this is probably an eight out of 10. Uh, the main perks are gonna be proximity, as I mentioned. Traffic is relatively low. It has a really good infrastructure. You can find any kind of house single story, two story, uh, you know, oversized two story up to 4,000 square feet. You can find new construction, you can find resale homes. 
pretty much anything you need or want, you're going to find it here. Uh, you're going to have... You're going to have nice neighbor, neighbors. Uh, the average sales price down here is going to be a little bit above the average in the Vegas Valley. It's not going to be as priced as high as uh, Summerlin, for example, but we're only like 10, 15 minutes away from Summerlin anyway. But you are going to get a really nice house and you're going to be spending probably about 10, 15% less than Summerlin anyway. So that that's my thoughts on the Southwest. Now, what do I think as far as the the school district goes well the school district is is a hit or miss you could have let's say a four or five at, uh, or five out of ten school depending on the area zip code that you're in because there are like three four zip codes in this part of town or you might have a nine out of ten school you might be in a master plan community like mountain's edge or southern highlands or uh, the golf course community that we passed, I forgot to mention it, which is, um, what's it called? Rose Ranch. And it's just north from here. Okay. It's right off of Durango, the street that we came down south on. But, um, you know, it's, it's mixed. I would say most neighborhoods are going to get pretty decent school districts. Some of them are gonna have really good schools. And you might have an elementary school that is great, like eight, nine out of 10, or you might have, and then you might have a high school, which is like a four out of 10. So it really depends, it's a hit or miss. And uh, that's where a good realtor comes into place for you to help you navigate this market and help you find the right place for you. If school districts are important to you, how do you do that research to understand which schools are the greatest one? Yeah, you can go online and find a website, but nobody can really guide you through this process. And uh, I know how difficult it is because I deal with it every day with my clients. And uh, in order to get all the information you need about traffic and all that stuff, yes, these videos are helpful and they'll help you make a decision. Most of you guys won't even reach out to me, which is fine, but you'll get all the information that you got from this video and then maybe go in with another realtor or go in by yourself i don't know why you would do that because when you go in by yourself i mean the realtor the the builder is paying for the commission for the realtors like even after the lawsuit and all the scary fear mongering that's been out there that i've been talking about that is nonsense um it's still happening where builders are still paying all the commissions as a matter of fact some builders that before were trying to get away with stuff right now they can't do that anymore because all the real, all the realtors have to have a buyer's brokerage agreement with their buyers and uh you know they're still paying for the commission it's that easy so if you guys need a realtor to represent you feel free to reach out to me I'd love to guide you throughout this whole process you pretty much get this free service that is paid by the builder and uh no don't come tell me that oh you can negotiate the price down because most builders won't do that for you because you don't have a realtor and uh i know for a fact because it does happen and you miss out on a realtor that maybe is really good with new construction homes that knows what the prices are and i'll tell you up front yeah this i can get you a discount on this one or on this one maybe not so much uh or maybe i can't get you anything at all because of the market so but at least you get the the guidance uh, to show you which neighborhoods are best for you now where are we located now we're heading west sorry east on blue diamond so you can see this is blue diamond and we're heading east towards the 15 freeway we just passed this is durango right here so this is the street that we just crossed that we came down from where we saw the ikea the durango station casino and now we're gonna head a little bit more east because we have to see the other parts of town now let me go really quick through mountain edge because i want to give you an idea of what that place looks like so we're gonna head south right now here on Cimarron. Mountain's Edge is a really, really nice master plan community. And as a matter of fact, let's go here 
uh, to show you Exploration Peak Park. There are a few major parks here. There's the Mountain's Edge Regional Park. And I'll show it to you on the map right now. Right now we're going south. But you have the Mountain's Edge Regional Park, which is pretty big. And then we have the Exploration Peak Park. We have another one here, Nathan's Jones Park. But it's a massive plant community, so you have a different feeling here. You're gonna see all the landscaping done throughout your neighbors, uh, your neighborhood. You're not gonna see open dirt lots like you see in, in, uh, in the Southwest in general, because every piece of this land, of this community has been already spoken for, it has a design. There's a, a church right there. I'm not sure which kind of church it is. And, um, and you can see it from here. Uh, this community has been around for about 20 years, you know, so that's where they built these homes. Lots of luxury homes also by Toll Brothers, TriPoint, Lennar, built some big homes like 4,000 square feet. They'll go up to like a million and maybe less than a million if you get a good deal, maybe around 800,000 or so for about 3,500 square feet. A 2,500 square feet, for example, two-story home will run you somewhere around, I'll say 550 to 600. And let me get within a neighborhood so it can give you an idea a little bit. Before I do that, let me go and show you the ex uh, the Mountains Edge Regional Park. And then Exploration Peak Park. Here's a school. This school is about the name of this one. Not sure which uh, school it is, but you can see over there the baseball fields. You can see them better on the map here. There's like four baseball fields. Lots of walking trails out here. There's a park area splash pads a lot of activities barbecue areas for kids rock climbing and i apologize for my camera uh, skills right now obviously i can't look at the camera because i have to look at the street i don't want to be a danger to society so i need to if, if my camera skills are not the greatest, I'm sorry about it. I just have to focus on the street. That's my main priority. Then whenever I get a chance, I will go ahead and uh, take a look at what I'm filming. But I'm hoping I'm still doing a decent job for you guys. This is Buffalo. It's one of the major streets, but it's not as big of a street as Durango is. And we're going to go north right here to show you Exploration Peak Park. But here in Mountain's Edge, if you like the feeling of a master plan community, the best thing you can do is uh, purchase a resale home because there's no new construction homes. Unless you go further out, which is not part of, master, uh, of Mountain's Edge, and uh, you go further out where we saw those Richmond and Century homes. So keep that in consideration when you're looking to buy a home out here in the Southwest. And uh, yeah, we're probably like halfway through this video. I apologize if I'm making it, you know, a little bit longer, but at the end of the day, I can't go any faster and I need to be as thorough as possible. So if you guys are gonna stay here until the end, uh, kudos to you, that means you're really interested in buying a home. So if you are, reach out to me if you found value in this video, or at least hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That way, whenever I post a new video, you get notified. Yeah, so this is Buffalo, but you can see it's still part of that master plan community, so it has walkways on both sides, bushes, trees, looks beautiful, you know, for a Vegas standard. Standards, you know, you don't have those open fields they have to worry about. Over to the right side, you see what's called Mountains Peak, uh, sorry, Expression Peak Park. Sorry about that. My phone actually just um, 
cut off the video for no reason, but I am right here in front of uh, Exploration Peak Park. What you're gonna see here is a very family friendly park where you have lots of areas here. It looks like a small old town. <laughs> it's just a kid's park pretty much. Beautiful people love coming here with their families on a weekend or even during the day. You can see right now there's people, kids playing. And this park is right off of the mountain, which has a small hike, by the way. And that's the Exploration Peak. It's just a, a kind of like a mountain in the middle of the Southwest. And uh, that's part of uh, your amenities over here. If you live nearby or either in Mountain's Edge or nearby this area. And you can see up there, the hike, there's people going up. Let me zoom in for you. There's that little gazebo area. And um, yeah, we're back home, Blue Diamond again. We're gonna head out to Rainbow and go north again to show you that part of town. This, this however, already gives you a decent idea of, of what this part of town looks like. And uh, we saw a little bit of, uh, see here, a little bit of traffic on Blue Diamond. Nothing crazy, but the flow still goes and uh, you never really come to a full you know, stop unless you're like at a red light or something, but it still flows, you know, I'm still going, let's say 40, 45 miles an hour on the diamond. So it never gets stuck really, other than maybe rush hours a little bit, but other than that, there's not much. Now Rainbow, I would argue with Durango, but I think Rainbow is even bigger. It's probably like one of the biggest streets in the southwest of the valley. You can see here still lots of land to build on on the right side and on the left side too. Although these, we have the power lines here, so most likely you won't be able to build on this part of, of, uh, of the street. On to the right, we're gonna see a Walmart because here we have the intersection with Rainbow where you're gonna have a lot of commercial areas. Again, lots of neighborhoods. This is, uh, as a matter of fact, a current neighborhood being built by KB right there. You see the houses are all the same. And uh, that's gonna be Copper Ranch. Now, two stories, single stories, I think they're sold out. Here's that Walmart, pretty much in the heart of the Southwest, right, right off of Rainbow and 215. Now, on this side, you can see on the south side of Blue Diamond on Rainbow here, there's gonna be a lot of new construction there. I don't know if we can swing by today, but look how much land we have open. This part is already being developed. This is going to be a lot of commercial. And going south, it's all going to be commercial here. So that's on the south side of uh, Blue Diamond. Right now, we're going to go left to show you the built out area. And this is all commercial here, going up all the way to the 215 freeway again, where we have a huge commercial area as well. So we'll head up there. Now, this part of town, this rainbow part of town, I would say it's almost like a second Chinatown. There's a lot of Korean, Chinese, Japanese food, you have sushi, any kind of Hawaiian, anything. Well, Hawaiian is not really a uh, Chinatown kind of style, but you know, you get a lot of diversity when it comes to restaurants in this part of town and I'll tell you one thing the food is amazing here in town uh, especially on this road they have a they, we'll, we'll, we're gonna drive by a Korean barbecue place that is amazing two of them actually over here and uh, lots of sushi sushi places like Oishi so you have a lot of options for restaurants in uh, in this part of town 
Although sometimes I do tend to go to Chinatown, which is not too far from here. At the end of the day, you just have to go straight up north within 15 minutes max. You'll be in Chinatown. Over to the left, they're building a gas station on this intersection. On the other side, you have tractor supply right there. And you can see it can get busy. On this side, we have construction, so there's gonna be a little bit more traffic. But you might get, you know, be stopped here for a couple minutes at the red light before you can, you know, keep going with your life. So yeah, we're gonna go up north here on Rainbow. And then uh, I think I might, we'll see, I might go turn right here and then make a, our way south on Decatur. We have to try to speed it up a little bit because I have an appointment at 10 o'clock I need to be at. So go down here and then show you this part of town where there's a lot of new construction homes. So there is some new construction here in the Southwest uh, on Rainbow. As a matter of fact, it's called Rainbow Crossing. So not only KB across the street here, and you can see there's uh, construction workers there still building homes. They're coming to an end on this community, but they still have some lots available. But on the other side of Rainbow, you have what's called Rainbow Crossing. Now you're gonna have any kind of home possible available here. Anything from a 1,500 square feet single family home, single story, going up to 5,000 square feet of a three story house. So you have single stories, two stories, three stories. You have square footage up to six bedrooms, up to 5,000 square feet with these big three story homes. You can see them right there. Now price range. If you look, it's still about the same, although Pulte is more expensive uh, than the average builder like KB or Deer Horton. In KB or Deer Horton, they're more the value builder. Pulte is considered more of the quality builder where they use different kind of, you know, materials, two by sixes. They'll use, uh, you know, they'll use other, other kind of insulation compared to other builders so if you want more information about that obviously reach out to me I'd love to be that realtor to help you with that you look at look at the amount of commercial here look at this pretty much you have bad owl here coffee shop spa vision place O'Reilly auto parts on the other side dough barbecue Korean barbecue go there it's really good dough korean barbecue i think it's like 35 depending if it's lunch or dinner 35 40 bucks for all you can eat uh and then on this side so many small businesses in here there's oishi in this plaza right here so oishi that's the one haven animal hospital karaoke the goong korean barbecue is another great one to go to this place pretty much has everything you need. Restaurants, there's pho, there's a pho place really good, hummus. Um, there's a medical center, dental center. There's a little pub with, uh, you know, gambling and stuff. That's pretty much everywhere here. Anytime fit fitness. Oh, these love car washes. They've been pretty much exploding here, everywhere in town. Now we're getting more on the big box stores. You're looking at Sprouts here to the left. And uh, yes, you have restaurants and all of that. But on this side is where you have the big commercial areas. So behind the CVS, there's a, sorry, right here we have a IHOP. And I've been kind of not showing you the right side, but the right side also has a bunch of businesses. There's only so much I can show you right at the end of the day, but you can see Bank of America, Starbucks. And uh, <clears throat> any kind of banks everywhere, all the big banks that you have, they're going to be on this street. Up to the 
to the west side of Rainbow. That's where you have that big area down there where you have Walmart, another Walmart, Best Buy, Home Depot, Sam's Club, Seafood World, um, I mean, Ross, all those big box stores, they're all over there to the left. So, <clears throat> and that's right off of the 215 freeway. Really, really great intersection to live nearby because of all the amenities that you're getting. Now, what we're gonna do is, well, since we're going over here, I'm already stuck here. I should have made a right here to go down south on Decatur. So right now we're on Rainbow. Here's, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go onto the freeway. I'm gonna turn right and then I'm gonna come down on Decatur. That'll be the quickest way to get onto Decatur. I'm gonna show you this part of town. It's a little bit different. And um, I think that's gonna add you some extra value to understand the neighborhood where you are and what's surrounding you, you know, at the end of the day. Because there are some builders out on that side of town and you have to understand the full picture. So far from what we've seen, you are looking at more newer construction homes. But if you're going into, into an area where you have a little bit older construction, you have to understand, you have to look at that too, you know, to see, okay, is this a bad area or not in the Southwest? And just because it's older, it doesn't mean it's bad. And I'm gonna show you that right now. To the right, more restaurants, Verizon, Zupas, Cafe Zupas. You guys ever been there? McDonald's, they're everywhere. Don't go there, guys. Popeyes. T-Mobile, everything you need right there. And this is where the big box stores are to the left. You can see Walmart, Best Buy, Ross, Michaels, Ulta, Skechers, Macy's, Office Depot, Michaels, everything you need. Now, people say, oh, in the Southwest, we have the new stadium. Yes, that's true. But it's a little further out. It's mostly close to the strip. So let's get on the freeway real quick. Oh, there's in and out right there, by the way. Just north of the 215 freeway on Rainbow. from the strip but Vegas is not what it used to be because back in 2008 we had a big crash probably Las Vegas was the worst city that got hit the most during the recession due to the fact that you are getting a city that was relying a lot as far as businesses goes on the strip and tourism and guess what Whenever you have a recession, the parts, you know, the cities that get hit the most are those that just rely on tourism because people stop traveling. That's the first thing people stop doing when there's a recession and they lose their job, they stop traveling. There's the MGM Resort Center here. Uh, all their office jobs are all in there. And, uh, but now that's not the case anymore for Las Vegas. We are here pretty much surrounded by businesses everywhere just for the people that live here that come and want a different lifestyle want more opportunity in their life many people are stuck let's say in California for the most part but even in other major cities with huge inflated prices and they'll never be able to own a house they're stuck they see okay if I need to get a house here it's gonna cost me six to seven thousand dollars a month on a mortgage maybe even eight thousand nine thousand dollars on a mortgage that's just not possible and I'm never gonna be an owner they say but maybe they work remotely and 
they can move out. They can move out of California or any major city and stop paying for state income taxes. Maybe you're a retiree. Stop, you know, don't need to pay for any more state income taxes on your pension and all that stuff. So move out to Las Vegas, zero state income taxes. And you still get a beautiful weather. Right now we have about 85 degrees. And here in Vegas, 85 degrees, it is really nice because we have dry weather. Only our humidity level is the lowest in the nation. As a matter of fact, we are around 35% uh, humidity. A close second is Arizona to us, but Nevada has the lowest, which is good when it comes to the weather. As a matter of fact, anything below 100 degrees temperature in this city is amazing. I, 95 degrees, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna go out and stay in the sun and you know, burn up. But if you're in the shade, 95 degrees, you can walk out, go on a trail or something, you're gonna be fine. Daylight, Pulte community. This is an all single story luxury community by Pulte. Talking about homes starting around 800,000, going up to 1.5, 1.6 million dollars on big quarter acre lots. Tough to find in this part of town, but this is where you're gonna have more of the luxury product. However, it's gonna be mixed with this. Older homes, like I mentioned earlier. These are homes built in the 70s, 80s. Um, however, these are on big lots, like one acre lots, half acre to one acre lots is the average. Some going up to two acres, three acres even. But these are gonna be expensive. They're gonna range at least on the 700,000 price range for a half an acre. And going up to a million. Uh, maybe 1.5 some some homes here the biggest ones with the big land because the land is the most expensive part They're going for three four million dollars. Look at this um, So you you'll get that here in the southwest and then it's gonna be mixed with smaller homes as well But on this side off of Decatur onto the left side, especially this one is zoned for a low density uh, part of town uh, at least in most parts, like this one, we're now in the higher density. You can see a higher density, you mean more homes and less square footage of lots, right? But you're going to get a lot of these homes with the big land. And uh, for example, this community, that's not going to be half an acre or one acre like these other older homes. But Taylor Morrison here is building these single stories. And I think this is the best value single story in the Southwest by Taylor Morrison. This is Ken Kensington Estates. Single stories, 2,300 square feet, or they have a model that is 2,800 square feet with the next gen, ranging anywhere between 650 to 850 uh, price range. They live really on the higher end, 850. They just opened this one, they're almost sold out. It's crazy because there's a big demand for single story homes with these big lots, you know, quarter acre lots still. This, uh, you, can, you can see this is American West classic. American West pretty much built up all of this part of town in the Southwest. Uh, and even the older part that we saw, Rainbow, the built out area. We're about to intersect, you can see more commercial here. There's Albertsons, Panda Express, all the restaurants, uh, you know, fast food. Uh, chains that you can find here. We're gonna have them here. Uh, Domino's, Jersey Mike's, my wife's favorite. As far as hospitals, you're gonna get dignity out. This is the St. Rose Dominican in Dominican campus, uh, but they have uh, they have a few hospitals that we pass by. Over here, there's one big one in the Southwest. It's the St. Rose uh, Dominical. The Dominican, Dominican. It's right on this area, right off of Durango. That's one of the major ones. I think there's another one right here on this side, another St. Rose. And then they have another one on this side, Silverado Ranch. So you're pretty much within 10 minutes from any major uh, hospital here. I've heard mixed reviews on the healthcare. Personally, I'm not a guy, luckily, knocking on wood that has to use much hospitals unless I'm you know have my wife uh, delivering a baby or something I really don't go to the hospital because I'm healthy 
and I take care of myself. But if you're not, you know, if you have, uh, you know, any kind of disease or chronic disease that you have to take care of, that's something you might want to do a little bit more research in on the on the hospitals and healthcare. Personally, I haven't found any issues, but I, again, I haven't had any major issues, any major chronic diseases that, you know, I really have to pay every month to, uh, you know, have some kind of service done to my body. So, or any kind of medication. So I really, I'm not the person, the best person to speak on that. From what I've heard from my clients, I've had mixed reviews. Some people want to be next to St. Rose Dominican Hospital, uh, next to other hospitals. So if that's something important to you, maybe you're a retiree, you want to be next to a hospital, uh, then definitely do a little bit more research into that. I can help you out doing that. Obviously, it's part of my services as when I get on a call with my clients, we you know we get on a zoom call i share my screen with them show them everything they need to know about the neighborhoods before they even come out here literally like the thing about my clients is when they're looking to buy a home they literally come in town for only one day is all i need them for just to see the top five communities that they're interested in because there's hundreds of thousands of neighborhoods out here. Not hundreds of thousands, now I'm exaggerating. Hundreds of new communities uh, available where you can buy a new home or even a resale house. And how do you navigate that as an outsider to see where you're gonna be building your own house? It's gonna be your forever home. You're gonna stay there forever. You wanna make sure you're building it in the right neighborhood for you. And that could be the Southwest. It could be somewhere else. If you're looking for something a little bit more family, I mean, family, this is family friendly to Southwest, but there are other neighborhoods that might be even better for you. This might be more of a middle of the ground, close to everything. But without that realtor, that insider information that you need, you really have a hard time making that decision. And most of the time I get calls like a year after they purchased with someone else or by themselves, they went into the builder. It's like, Jack, you know, we really made a mistake here. Can you help us now get into the right neighborhood for us? So then they call me and, and I help them out get into the bliss, best place for them. So that's what you should expect uh, from, uh, from me and my services, if you're interested in my, in my services, to get like a fast lane approach to finding a home. Now we just crossed uh, Blue Diamond again, that major street. We're going more south. This is where you're gonna have the main bulk of the new construction homes. You have Spectrum, has three communities down here. And uh, again, EOS Fitness, big commercial areas everywhere. Big businesses. And what you're gonna have here is a lot of new builders. Pulte, which is also American West, it's part of Pulte. Over to the right, you can see again these big ranch style homes, older from the 80s. If you need one of these, I can definitely help you with that too. I recently purchased one myself. I try to do Airbnb, hopefully it works out. We'll see how it goes because it's a really tough business to get into. Here in Las Vegas, Airbnb is pretty much banned everywhere, only in some very small pockets you can do that and uh, you need someone to navigate you that. Look at this house right here. It's got to go for like, as a one acre lot at least, it's got to go for like 34 million. Huge home. It's got most likely an oasis in the back over there and then shop, all that good stuff. Then open land. Up to the right, you're going to see trails. This is the newest townhome community by Theo Horton. They're building a bunch of these everywhere, all throughout town, because they need affordable housing. These are going to be in the high 300s, 1,300 to 1,500 square feet townhomes. I've done videos of all these new communities for you guys, so you can just go onto my channel. Uh, you can put in the the name of the community that's in Temple Trails, and it'll show up for you. But um, we're getting close to where we have a little bit more construction, which is down here. We have Pulte over here, and then we're gonna make a left over there to get into these other neighborhoods right here. 
right here. But high 300s, that's tough to find. I mean, you're only going to get into a town hall uh, to get into the 300s. Anywhere in the valley, pretty much. Townhomes are going to range anywhere on the low end, probably in North Las Vegas, in the low 300s, like 310, 320 for a townhome, 1,300 square feet. Going up uh, here in the southwest, maybe 350, 360 for the same square footage. And then uh, if you get the bigger ones, like 1,400 square feet, you're probably looking at around 380 down here. And, uh, and yeah, now we're going a little bit more south, so you have a little bit more new construction. Hey, again. Look how much land we still have to build on. This is going to be a newer part of town for sure. In the future, the appreciation is just amazing, in my opinion. It's going to be like a major uh, part of town where everybody wants to be. So, the good thing we have land to build, so I don't foresee prices getting, uh, you know, anywhere to California levels, but it could happen in the future. And here is Pulte to the right side. Queens Canyon, so smaller two stories, anywhere between 2,000 to 3,000 square feet. And then the Lamar, which is 3,000 to 4,000 square feet, up to three stories. Big two story homes, love them. Spectrum Trails is right here to the left, which is another trails community. It's the same townhomes I just mentioned up there. This one is almost done. Spectrum Bay, which is uh, a little bit bigger single family homes here. These are going to be in the low 400s, like 410, 420. Uh, 1700 square feet, small backyards, about 10 foot of a backyard. You can see them from these homes right here. And they're very tight next to each other, cookie cutter style. They're all the same spec homes, you don't get to choose anything in it. Then we have uh, Spectrum Falls, which is bigger homes. Now, these are pretty much sold out right now, so there's no reason really to to look into these right now because you're looking at 24 to 3,000 square feet, two stories. These are the least expensive probably, up to 600, 630, it's 630 or so. But uh, 3,000 square feet for 600,000, that's really good. And then we have uh, KB, these, they're down to their last 10 to 12 lots right here anywhere between you know a small 1200 square feet single story or going up to 2500 square feet two story right here saguaro ranch and uh yeah that's gonna be it we're almost here in southern highlands if you want to see a video of me going through southern highlands it's gonna be right next door just south of uh, this neighborhood but i want to give you an idea of this part of town right now we're going up you see that casino that's the south point casino that's where the freeway is the 15 freeway so i'm gonna head up there uh because i have to go up north for a client is doing the final walk uh sorry new home orientation on their house so this gives you an idea though of what the southwest looks like you have a lot of bare land just open land as you can see where eventually it's going to be built out but i don't know how long that's going to take could take uh, 10 years, it could take 50 years. I don't know, it depends on regulation. You see a new community, a new, <clears throat> a new builder coming in just like this right here for a commercial in this case, all the time. It's, it's just normal. It's part of our lifestyle here in Vegas. It's gonna be next to your house for a while. And the downside is uh, the vision is not the be most beautiful one, obviously. You're not in the most beautiful neighborhood, right? But overall, you're going to get a lot of appreciation in your home as all these businesses come into your area and they appreciate the value of your home. So if you can deal with it, this is a great part of town. If not, try to get into a master plan community, which means the design is already set. There's not, you already know where the commercial area is going to be, where your house is going to be, where the trails, the parks are going to be. And you're not guessing anywhere, you know, where anything is going to be because that master plan community is going to look that way. And you have master plan community options here, or maybe you can go anywhere else. But again, so many options to choose from. It is up to you uh, to do your due diligence. Reach out to me if you need help with that. And I appreciate you watching until the end. My name is Jack Graham. 
if you guys stayed until the end, let me know down in the comments and say, I was here until the end. Just leave a comment out there. Want to see how many people really stayed. And uh, you know, it helps a little bit the algorithm to put a, put a comment out there. So if you appreciate it, the least you can do, put in a com uh, comment or reach out to me for your needs, for your real estate needs. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.